What's up, everybody? Tax Direction 7 here, back in the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod, and what this mod does is it makes Minecraft look incredibly amazing. Now, you do have to have a semi good, medium level computer to run this, um, so if you already have lag in Minecraft, then this definitely is not a mod that you should be installing because it'll just make your problem worse. So you can see here it does have dynamic shadows. And it gives it a little effect when you look around of like a blur. Which I think is a nice touch. Doesn't look too bad. So you can see as the sun goes the shadow is moving. And you do have your own shadow as well. Then if I go ahead and come up here, you can see the tall grass is waving around. So this is pretty much just a Minecraft overhaul when it comes to the graphics and such. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these animals. No. So let me go ahead and change it to nighttime. And then we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. So here's sunset, and we'll see the sun is going down. And the sunsets look awesome when you have this mod on. How all the shadows transform. Okay, there's, I don't want any zombies coming after me during this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and make it jump to midnight. And you can see it is quite dark. And it, it doesn't really look all that different at night compared to uh, the normal Minecraft. But it does look a bit darker and a bit more moody. So that is the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Optifine and the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod itself. So to get the Optifine and Shaders mod, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for this shaders mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, this page will show you a little bit of information about the mod as well as a video and a couple screenshots. But you want to go ahead and keep on scrolling down past all of this till you get to the installation section. And you want to make sure you're downloading the Windows version since this tutorial is for Windows. So if you're looking for a Mac tutorial or something, I'm sorry, but this tutorial will not work for you. So you want to go ahead and click on the first download link. And this will bring us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait 5 seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that 5 seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will bring us over to a media fire and go ahead and click on download to download the mod. So that is how to download the shaders mod. Now for Optifine, I know this is a separate mod but you're going to need to use this to get the shaders mod to work correctly. And they do recommend using the smooth version of Optifine. Um, now they also mention if the smooth version of Optifine does not work for you, then you need to try the standard version and that should get it working. So go ahead and click on the first download link for the smooth Optifine version. And then again it'll say please wait 5 seconds up in the top right hand corner. After the 5 seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And it'll bring us over to a download page for the Optifine mod and go ahead and click on this download link right here and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the files that you'll be installing. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your minecraft jar. Then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR so I'm going to open it with WinRAR. Now your bin you're not going to need open anymore so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up the Opti Optifine mod, highlight all of these files, and drag them into your Minecraft jar, and hit OK. Go ahead and close the Optifine mod, 
Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not see this folder, that is a right, you can go and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files, then hit yes. And that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you always delete metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete metainf, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. Now open up the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod. And then open up the only folder that's in there. Now you want to open up the installer.exe and that'll open this up and go ahead and click on install mods and it'll say analyzing a whole bunch of stuff and then installation complete and there you go you can just close everything down and that's it you're done installing the mod so hope this video helps you guys out thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time